Today we're talking all about the Fimsy Wallace Crosby Hobo Bag. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, and on this channel we talk about everything from my Amazon favorites to bag favorites to everything in between. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. So today we're going to talk all about the Fimsy Wallace Hobo Bag. It looks like this, and I've been using this bag for gosh, a couple of weeks now, and it has quickly become one of my absolute favorites. So I'm gonna show you the bag, the features, how I have it packed up, and of course, links to everything that I share will be in the show notes right down below this video. <laughs> let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, before we see how I have the bag packed up, let's talk about what comes with the bag, what it retails for, and what colors it's available in. It is available in three colors, black, pewter, and this beautiful neutral called Buff. It retails for $295, which is pretty on point for MZ Wallace pricing. It's made of the quilted nylon. You have Italian leather details on the zipper pulls. It's also featured on this beautiful leather strap. Um, and it does come with three straps. It comes with this shoulder strap, which is, I, I alternate between the shoulder strap and the crossbody strap, which is right here. The crossbody strap is adjustable. I usually leave both of these straps on at both times, uh, at all times. And then it also comes with a third strap that I have in here that I have to be honest, I'm not totally crazy about this. It's a leather wrapped chain, but the leather is neon yellow. So this is the accent strap. It's a bright neon with gold hardware. It's just not my vibe. I struggle to see how this looks good on a neutral colored bag, but what do I know about fashion? So I usually keep that kind of tucked in the outside pocket back here. Uh, the bottom of the bag does have the MZ Wallace logo right there. And then of course you have the gold hardware with the company name right here on the front. Like other MZ Wallace bags, this bag has a ton of pockets and a ton of different ways to store everything that you carry with you. This bag on the outside has this little hidden pocket. I love the detail where you can't see the zipper. It's kind of like hidden right underneath like that. And in this back pocket, it's gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So I usually put like paperwork. I have that extra strap in there, um, just like some random things in that back pocket but I think it's a great place to put activities for your kiddos if you need to carry some things for your kids as well. Um, anything that you need quick access to. Actually, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move my wipes to that back pouch because I grab for my wipes all the time. So I'm gonna do that really quick. I'm just gonna pop it right there in that back pocket and now it's easy for me to get to. There you go, love it. Okay, also before you open the main compartment of the bag, it has two more pockets right on top, one right here and one that matches it right over here. So these are quick access pockets. They are very wide. I will say definitely wide enough to hold like a Kindle or something like that. Um, but these are good quick access pockets. So you can open them and get to what you need to get really quickly, really easily. So you'll notice that this bag has a fairly slim profile compared to one of the Metro styles, like medium Metro tote, all Metro tote. So because it has a slimmer profile, your interior space is going to be a little bit more limited than it would be in one of those styles that's more boxy in shape. So just so you know that going into it, but let's go ahead and tip the camera down and I'll show you how I have it all packed up. All right, I wanna start by saying I am a classic overpacker and I've really tried to pare down because I love the slouch of the hobo. So this is packed mostly for me, a little bit for my kids. Uh, my kids are older, so it's nice to like finally be getting into purses. Anywho, okay. So like I mentioned at the top of the video, the pocket here in the back is kind of hidden, which I love, and I moved my wipes back there always, always carry wipes. I also will often keep my cell phone back there just cause it's like an easy pocket to get to. So that is usually back there too. And then of course, um, I have my clip a bag hook back there and my extra strap. Spinning the bag around, like I mentioned up on top, you have these, I call them like quick access pockets. There's one and two in this one. Um, I have hand sanitizer. I have my little floss situation, which is super cute. I also have, whoa, a snack for me in there. 
and that's all I had in that pocket but like I said it goes all the way down to the very very bottom which is awesome in the next little quick access pocket right up here. I have this one kind of dedicated to my kids. This little pink pouch is actually holding my first aid kit. I transferred everything out of the actual first aid kit and put it into this little pouch. So this is the keep going first aid kit just in this adorable pink pouch because I liked the way that this looked a little bit better and it's so cute. Get out of here, right? Okay. I also have this little pouch. This is from Target and in here I just have um, some wet ones. I have some snacks for the kids a couple like that one and then a little Annie's mini and then I have a mosquito wipe and I also have a Mini play pack in there, too So that's what's in there And then one thing I want to make note of is this top pocket zips all the way across and it does have a little tail so that you can open the bag all the way up but that being said, it does have a little opening that just is barely open um, on either side. Okay, I went ahead and opened up the bag and you can see I have my daughter's water bottle right here on top. I also have attached to the key ring, I have a little card case from Stony Clover Lane. And inside this little card case, I just have some extra cards. I have change and like my little PO box key in here. It has my initials in there, Hello Kitty print, which is so cute. All right, and then I have my wallet. This is the dinner wallet in this beautiful rich brown color, which I love, gold hardware, so cute. Next in here, I have the brand new spring launch from Oventure. This key ring is so pretty. Attached to my massive key ring. I have my air tag holder here, a hair tie holder. I also have my Easter themed lippy clip holding my chapstick and of course my key fob. All right, I also have this little case, comes with the bag. And in here I have a bunch of stuff, as you can see, concealer, cuticle cream, um, eye drops. I also have, I had to recently get new travel scissors because my pink ones broke. I only had them for gosh, like four years. So got some new scissors, my bug bite thing because it's about that season, my AirPod cleaner, Aquaphor stick, deodorant. What else is in here? Oh, my little pill case from Sephora. And I think that's pretty much it. Then hair ties and extra contacts in it. So that's what was in that little pouch. I also randomly have my husband's key fob. Okay, that's not good. Um, but that is what I had in the main section. Oh wait, a brush. A hairbrush too. And that's what I had in the main section of the bag. If you can kind of see down there. Then you do have these two leather trimmed pockets. In this pocket, I have a lip product from Tarte. I also have the cutest package of Kleenex you'll ever see. It is so cute. I don't have anything in that smaller pocket, so that is what I have packed up there. Then as you spin the bag around, over on this side, like I mentioned earlier, you do get a key ring or a key fob. And then in the back pocket, it has the same MZ Wallace split that we're used to, which is the open area and then the two pockets. In this section, I have a pen, I have a stain remover, a wet one, some more lip products. Then in the back pocket, uh, more lip product, my Equilibria stuff, soap sheets to wash hands because we're out at the soccer fields all the time. And then on this side, just these little daily drops from Equilibria. And that's what I had packed in the bag. You can see when it's not packed, it just kind of slouches down and is all squishy. I absolutely love it. I love how it truly looks like a hobo bag when you carry it. It kind of hobos in the middle. It is literally so cute. I love it so much. Love. All right, guys, so that's it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this one, you will probably enjoy this one and this one too. I'll see all of you guys again in my next one. Bye, guys.